welcome back guys so today we are solving the gfg problem of the day that is chicks in a zoo it is rated easy so let's see what the question states but before moving on to the question please 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 subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it with your friends we solve gfg problem of the days and lead code daily challenges and all the contest solutions of code forces chef and lead code you will get here okay so let's see what the question states the question states that initially the zoo has a single chick okay and a chick gives birth to two chicks every day. A chick gives birth to two chicks every day. And the life expectancy of each chick is six days. Okay. So the zoo officials want to buy food for the chicks. So they want to know the number of chicks on the nth day. Okay. So any day on the nth day, how many chicks are alive? So uh, we can buy food for them. Okay. So this is a very simple question okay let's see if two chicks are born every day okay if two chicks are born every day and life expectancy of each chick is six days then up to sixth day what first day only one chick will be born on the second day that chick will be the parent of two more chicks so this mark is for newborns okay so it will give birth to two more chicks and plus the parent itself so total is three and on the third day how much on the third day it is the three is the parent parent will leave and plus it will give birth uh, three of them will give birth to two two children's uh, children okay sorry not children so okay uh, so it will be six so total will be nine and similarly on the next fourth day what nine the parent will remain and the children are nine into two that is eighteen Okay, nine of them will give birth to two, two children and that will be 18 and we add it, add them up and that will be total of 27 chicks are on the fourth day. Similarly, on the fifth day, it will be 81. On the sixth day, it will be 243. But the catch is on the seventh day. Okay, on the seventh day, what happens is 243 will give birth to two, two children. Okay, so it gives birth to two, two children. That will be 486 plus the 243 parents. Okay, the 243 parents. But... Here, the life expectancy of each chick is six days. So, on the seventh day, the sec the chicks born on the six second day, the total chicks on the second day will die. Okay. So, three of them will die. So, 486 plus 243 minus 3 will be 726. Okay. 726 will be on the seventh day. Seventh day onwards, what will happen that uh, chicks will keep on dying okay two by three two by three chicks will keep on dying so up to seventh day from one to six you can see a pattern that it's one three nine twenty seven eighty one that is multiple of threes so we keep on multiplying our dp with the previous uh, for the current day uh, number of chicks on the current day what we do is the number of chicks on the previous day into three Okay, as one was there, so one into three is three, three into three is nine, nine into three is 27. Like that, we can get up to six days. Okay, so up to six days, this, this is our DP formula. But after the sixth day, on the seventh day, we get 7, 8, 26. Okay, and after seventh day, eighth day to nth day, nth day, whatever it is given. Okay, what we will get is the DP uh, that the previous day's chicks minus the number of chicks that will die okay mark my words the number of chicks that will die how many will die two by three of them then total of them will be multiplied by three because uh, the newborn to get the uh, total total ones with the newborns okay so uh, as why i'm multiplying by two because of newborns and dividing by three because three will die okay so i'll get the total number of uh, chicks on the nth day so these are the chicks from the previous parents these are the chicks that die and finally we will get the total total chicks that are born and both uh, and here uh, written wrong and both the born and the already present ones the parents okay so that's it this is the solution for it so what i have done is for uh, uh, what for up to six days this is it 
uh, for the first two days uh, for the zeroth zeroth day i'm taking it hypothetically so zeroth day it is zero on the first day it is one uh, so that i only i can uh, calculate this uh, up to six days it will be get it will be getting multiplied by three as i've written here and after six days uh, what i get the calculated value is on the seventh day is 726 as i have shown here 486 plus 243 minus 3 726 and after they after that from the eighth day to nth day we will follow this tp okay and finally we will return the value on the nth day okay we will get our answer so that's it let's submit it and see sorry thank you please 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 subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it with your friends for more this type of coding questions uh you, you will get all the videos consistently in this channel only okay thank you